two, one. Okay, today's lesson is going to be, again, on standard form equations. We're continuing the standard form equations. Um, and there are two different ways that you can graph standard form equations. So we're going to talk about those. But first, we need to put in the formula for standard form. And the formula is a capital A, X, plus a capital B, Y, is equal to a capital C. And the A and the B and the C, those are all going to be constants. Those are going to be numbers. Your X and your Y are going to be your X and your Y, like we've seen in our other graphing equations. Okay, so it says there, the two ways we can graph standard form equations are convert the equation into slope-intercept form. And the second way is solve the equation for the X and Y intercepts. So I'm going to show you how to do those real quick on an example. Let's, uh, let's take the example of 5X plus 4Y equals 20. And we're going to convert this into slope-intercept form. In slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what we need to do is we need to isolate our y. So we're gonna subtract 5x from both sides. And these cancel out and you're left with 4y is equal to a negative 5x plus 20. And again, we put the negative 5x because it's y equals mx plus b. And now we are going to divide by four. And once we divide one thing by four, we have to divide everything by four. And my fours are going to cancel out here. And I'm going to be left with y is equal to negative five over four. It just remains that improper fraction, x. And then positive 20 divided by four would be plus five. So we've converted it into slope-intercept form. We could identify our m, our slope, and identify our b, our y-intercept, and then graph it. The other way, and we'll take the exact same equation, and I'll write it over here. It says solve the equation for the x and y intercepts. So I'll go 5x plus 4y equals 20. Well, the x-intercept, I'll put it over here. The x-intercept is where y, cross, y is 0, so x comma 0. And then the y-intercept is uh, where x equals 0. So I'll put this one over here of 0 comma y. So that's what we're going to do with this equation. We are going to take the equation, and we're going to substitute. When we solve for the x-intercept, we're going to substitute a 0 in for the y. So we get, uh, I'll do it on this side. I'll go 5x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 20. And then 4 times 0 is 0, so that cancels out. You get 5x is equal to 20. And then divide by 5 and you get x equals 4. Now, my x-intercept, the x is 4, so I'll put that there, and then my y was 0, so I put that there. So my x-intercept is 4, 0. You would plot that point on the graph, and then we would solve for my y-intercept over here. I'll draw a little line to keep them separate. The y-intercept is when x equals 0, so 5 times 0, plus 4y equals 20. 5 times 0 is 0, and we get 4y equals 20. Divide by 4, y equals 5. So my y-intercept would be my x value was 0, and my y value is 5, so 0, 5. You would plot those two points and connect them with a line, and then go from there. <clears throat> the next part, it says convert the equation into slope-intercept form. When is it best to do the following? Well, it's best to convert the equation into slope-intercept form when the uh, coefficients of x and y don't divide evenly into the constant. Okay, and I'm going to show you some examples later. Just get that sentence down. Try to understand what it means. When is it best to solve the equation for the x and y intercepts? 
it's the opposite. So when the coefficients of x and y do, put it on capitals, divide evenly into the constant. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some examples that will hopefully bring these words to light. So we have 5x minus 4y equals 20. Okay, we had a similar example up top. Does 5 go into 20 evenly? Yes, it does, it goes in four times. Does 4 go into 20 evenly? Yes, it does, five times. So this would be best to solve with the uh, solving for the intercepts. So again, I'm gonna set it up so that I solve for the intercepts. So my x-intercept is x comma zero, and then zero comma y. And you get 5x plus four times zero equals 20, which is 5x equals 20, divide by five, and you get x equals four. Again, my coordinates would be four comma zero. For my y-intercept, it would be 5 times 0 plus 4y equals 20. And then 5 times 0 is 0, so 4y equals 20. Divide by 4, and y equals 5. So my coordinates there would be 0, comma, 5. Okay? For the next one, it says 12x plus 5y equals 20. Does 12 go into negative 20 evenly? No, it doesn't. So therefore, we're going to convert it into slope-intercept. The way you convert it into slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. So minus 12x, minus 12x. So you get 5y is equal to a negative 12x minus 20. Okay? And then we are going to divide by 5. Everything divide by 5. These cancel and you are left with y equals negative 12 over 5x minus 4. Because negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. On the last one, we're going to look at it again. Uh, does 9 go into 18 evenly? Yes, it does. Does 6 go into 18 evenly? Yes, it does. So therefore, we're going to solve for our intercepts again. x comma 0 and 0 comma y. Draw my line down the middle. So then I go negative 9x plus 6 times 0 equals 18. A negative 9x is equal to 18. Divide by negative 9. And you get x equals negative 2. So again, my intercept for this one, negative 2 comma 0, because my y value is 0. For my y-intercept, it would be negative 9 times 0 plus 6y equals 18. These cancel out because negative 9 times 0 is 0. So you get 6y equals 18. Divide by 6, y equals 3. So my coordinates here would be 0, comma, 3. Okay, what I would like you to do is I would like you to finish these next three examples and um, uh, bring them in tomorrow. Uh, the paper is attached to school loop for you. Uh, if you want to print it off, you can print it off. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.